In today's increasingly intense global scramble for strategic resources, a piece of earth, shattering news, has emerged from China. According to authoritative reports by Xinhua News Agency, China has successfully discovered an additional 4.07 billion cubic meters of proven helium reserves. This figure represents far more than just a breakthrough in resource statistics. It marks China's complete reversal of its long-standing dependence on imported helium and a crucial step in tipping the scales of the global energy game. This discovery is like a boulder thrown into a tranquil lake, set to create ripples that will shake the international resource market and redefine the balance of power in the global helium arena. When it comes to helium, the average person might immediately think of party balloons or voice-changing toys. However, its true strategic value far exceeds these casual associations. Many first associate helium with nuclear fusion energy, while helium-3, which is essential for nuclear fusion, garners significant attention due to its scarcity on Earth and its abundance on the Moon. It is helium-4, the type newly discovered in China, that serves as the invisible cornerstone supporting modern high-end industries. In nature, helium-4 accounts for 99.99% .99 of the total helium element. Thanks to its unique physical and chemical properties, it has become an irreplaceable industrial vitamin in fields that are vital to national lifelines, such as healthcare, scientific research, aerospace, and semiconductors. Helium has the lowest boiling point among all elements, a mere 268.95 degrees Celsius. This property has earned it the title of the guardian of extreme cold. In the medical field, magnetic resonance imaging MRI devices are hailed as the clairvoyant eyes of modern medical diagnosis. However, their normal operation is entirely dependent on the ultra-low temperature environment created by liquid helium. Picture a patient lying inside an MRI machine for a scan. It is the continuous heat absorption of liquid helium that ensures the superconducting magnets within the device remain at a stable low temperature enabling the generation of highly precise human body images and allowing doctors to detect even the most subtle abnormalities. At the forefront of scientific and technological innovation, quantum computers are regarded as the ultimate form of future computing power. Yet, their core components must operate at temperatures close to absolute zero. Helium, based refrigeration technology, is the very key that unlocks the door to this future. Without helium, these cutting-edge devices would come to an immediate halt, dealing a severe blow to medical diagnostic efficiency and the progress of scientific research breakthroughs. As the second, lightest element in the universe, helium is also the angel of the skies in the aerospace field. From weather monitoring balloons to manned airships, from pressurizing rocket propellants during launches to controlling the attitude of space probes, helium with its low density and non-flammable properties, safeguards humanity's dreams of soaring through the skies. In semiconductor manufacturing plants, often referred to as the heart of the electronics industry, helium's exceptional inertness makes it the protector of chips. During critical processes in chip manufacturing, such as photolithography and etching, operations must be carried out in an oxygen-free, dust-free and impurity-free environment. Helium can quickly displace oxygen and impurities in the air, creating a stable protective atmosphere and significantly reducing the defect rate of chips. A chip the size of a fingernail can integrate billions of transistors, and even the tiniest impurity can lead to a decline in chip performance or even render it useless. The presence of helium thus builds an impregnable security barrier for the precision manufacturing of chips. So, where does this crucial helium come from? The Earth's internal furnace and geological changes are its primary birthplaces. Radioactive elements such as uranium and thorium release helium nuclei during the decay process. These helium nuclei undergo a long-lasting geological migration underground and gradually accumulate in natural gas reservoirs. Therefore, the key to finding helium lies in the exploration of natural gas fields. In addition, Primordial helium left over from the Earth's formation is released to the surface through channels such as volcanic eruptions and crustal fissures. However, due to its extremely low concentration and scattered distribution, its commercial exploitation value is limited. Although helium is closely associated with natural gas, not all natural gas fields can become rich mines for helium. 
Helium concentrations in most natural gas fields around the world are extremely low, like searching for tiny pearls in the vast ocean, typically fluctuating between 0.01% and 0.3%. To achieve economic extraction, the helium content needs to exceed the critical threshold of 0.3%. In high-grade gas fields, the helium content can reach to percent to 10%. These fields not only have high unit production, but also allow for relatively easy extraction processes. Nevertheless, high, grade gas fields are extremely unevenly distributed globally. Like rare gems scattered here and there, they are mainly concentrated in areas with unique geological structures and rich radioactive element bearing rock formations. According to data from the United States Geological Survey in 2023, the global helium resource landscape exhibits an oligopolistic pattern. For countries, namely the United States, Qatar, Algeria, and Russia, firmly control 90% of the world's helium resources. The United States, with a 40% share, ranks first. Leveraging its abundant gas field reserves and leading extraction technologies, it has long dominated the global helium market and regarded helium as a strategic weapon for maintaining its technological hegemony and national security. In contrast, China's path to developing its helium industry has been fraught with challenges for a long time. Due to a late start and weak technological capabilities, the country has long been trapped in a predicament of having an industry without a complete supply chain. As a result, China's helium supply was almost entirely dependent on imports. Numbers, cold yet telling, serve as the most vivid testament. From 2018 to 2022, China's dependence on imported helium remained stubbornly high, exceeding 90%. This meant that the lifeblood of domestic high-end industries was firmly in the hands of foreign entities. A decade ago, approximately 70% to 80% of China's helium imports came from the United States. However, as international situations fluctuated, the US, driven by strategic considerations, tightened its export policies, dealing a heavy blow to China's related industries. At this critical juncture, Qatar, leveraging its abundant natural gas resources and continuously expanding production capacity, replaced the US as China's primary source of helium imports. Nevertheless, this shift failed to fundamentally alter China's passive position in helium supply. Examining the evolution of global helium production distribution reveals subtle yet significant changes in the power dynamics. Comparing data from 2005 and 2023, Qatar's rise is nothing short of a miraculous comeback. Its rapid production growth has substantially squeezed the U.S.S. market share. Although the U.S. still commands nearly half of the global market, its once dominant position has been severely eroded. The global helium market is undergoing a transformation from unipolar dominance to multipolar competition. Why? Despite China's vast territory and abundant resources, has it long been at a disadvantage in the helium sector? The answers lie in two critical areas resource exploration and production capacity building. In terms of resource exploration, China's quest for helium has been a belated treasure hunt. Theoretically, helium bearing natural gas is widely distributed across the country. However, in the past, due to insufficient attention and limited technological means, our understanding of helium resources remained superficial. In 1964, the Wei Yuan gas field in Sichuan achieved the first commercial extraction of helium, a glimmer of hope for China's helium industry. But in the following decades, exploration progress was painfully slow, like groping in the dark. It was not until recent years, as the demand for high precision equipment in national defense and military industries surged. As China's aerospace endeavors reached for the depths of space, and as the height and manufacturing industry demanded ever better chip performance, that the importance of helium as a choke point resource came to the fore. The state promptly increased investment and launched a new round of mineral exploration campaigns. Geological surveyors, like modern day treasure hunters equipped with advanced detection devices, ventured into remote deserts and rugged mountains conducting exhaustive searches of potential gas fields. The discovery of 4.07 billion cubic meters of helium is the hard, one fruit of years of arduous efforts. In production capacity building, China faced the daunting challenge of starting from scratch. 
The global helium supply market has long been monopolized by three giants, Lind of Germany, Air Liquide of France, and Air Products of the United States. Leveraging their first mover advantages, these companies have established an almost impregnable market hegemony through long-term trade agreements and technological barriers. Domestically, these foreign-owned enterprises also held dominant positions, controlling key aspects such as helium imports and separation. To break this stranglehold, China launched a self-reliant campaign to boost production capacity. From 2020 to 2023, production capacity soared from 1.2 million cubic meters to 5.3 million cubic meters. Behind this remarkable growth are the countless hours of research by scientists and the substantial investments of numerous enterprises. Currently, dozens of direct helium extraction and tail gas helium extraction projects are in full swing across the country. Like spring bamboo shoots emerging from the ground, they herald the vibrant future of China's helium industry. However, we must also be acutely aware of the gap between production capacity and actual output. In 2023, despite a capacity of 5.3 million cubic meters, the actual output was only about 0.7 million cubic meters, resulting in a self-sufficiency rate of merely 10.5%. This indicates that increasing production and narrowing the supply demand gap remain core tasks for China's helium industry. The discovery of 4.07 billion cubic meters of helium is like dropping a strategic bomb, completely redrawing the global helium resource map. Previously, with a global helium reserve of approximately 12.1 billion cubic meters, China's share was negligible. Now, this breakthrough compels the international community to reevaluate China's standing in the helium domain. The statistics of the US Geological Survey are set to be rewritten because of China. Although helium is often referred to as the golden gas, it is not inherently scarce in terms of total resources. Its scarcity mainly stems from man made barriers in the market. Uneven resource distribution has made high grade gas fields highly coveted and the long-term monopoly of helium extraction technology by a few enterprises has further exacerbated supply shortages. Moreover, major global helium producers are often situated in geopolitical hotspots. Policy changes in the US, maintenance of facilities in Qatar, or the outbreak of regional conflicts can all trigger significant disruptions to the global helium supply chain. Since the 21st century, the global helium market has experienced for severe shortages. Each shortage has triggered industrial crises in import-dependent countries, halting countless factories due to helium shortages and stalling numerous scientific research projects for lack of key materials. Against the backdrop of rising trade protectionism and a volatile international situation, ensuring the security of helium supply has become a matter of life and death for a nation's economic lifeline and technological development. Encouragingly, China's recent no round of mineral exploration campaigns has yielded remarkable results. From new breakthroughs in oil and gas resources to large-scale lithium discoveries, from progress in high purity quartz exploration to this significant helium find, each discovery has injected strong impetus into the development of China's high-end industries. Especially in the helium sector, this discovery is not only a leap in reserves but also a milestone on China's path to self-sufficiency in strategic resources. With the substantial increase in reserves, there is every reason to be optimistic about the future. Through the unremitting efforts of researchers, breakthroughs in independent helium extraction technology are expected. With strong policy support and active corporate investment, production capacity and output are poised for explosive growth. Perhaps in the near future, China's helium self-sufficiency rate will reach 100%, completely shaking off the choke point dilemma. This will build an impregnable security barrier for national defense and military industries, provide wings for China's aerospace aspirations, and inject a continuous stream of vitality into the high-end manufacturing sector, enabling China to write its own glorious chapter in the global strategic resource game.